I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am uh, actually pretty nervous um, about the election. Not this, this is fine. <laughs> nervous about the election, it's pretty scary. A, uh, a woman might be the president, you guys. <laughs> it's kind of a fun joke to do at the top, see who's into jokes. Some people are like, I don't like him now. <laughs> He's being serious on this comical program. I don't care who you're voting for, pretty good options this year. Pretty exciting. Ah, what a time to be alive for a little bit longer. This election, folks, is about inspiration. Let me get down here with you guys. This election, shut up! I have a limited amount of time. This election is about inspiration, you guys. When Barack Obama was elected, he was the first black president. That's inspiring. If Hillary Clinton, if Hillary Clinton wins this election, she's the first female president. That's inspiring. If Donald Trump wins this election, that's inspiring for your average Joes like me. I'm not walking around assuming one day I could be the president, but now it's like, I don't know, he did it. What do I have to do? Do I fill out a form? Do I submit a tape? How do I start to try to be the president? God, I feel like I'm still not connecting with you. Let me get in here with you guys. No, 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 no. Sit down, sit down. I'll get through. Look at all these people that like race to be, I want to be in the front row. Now it's like not even worth it for them. When you watch a debate, let's stay on point here. The worst. Just we're right here. <laughs> Folks. <laughs> All right, I'll move, jeez. Man, not really a team player right now, is he? Can you move? I can't see the show. He literally, that's what his thought. I can't see the screen if you're right here, sir. <laughs> sir she's not even turning around to see the show. <laughs> she doesn't even care. Like, uh, I stopped tuning in at the Hillary bit. <laughs> when you watch a debate, you never know what anyone's talking about. You always act like you do. They reference stuff. You're like, oh, that's a good point. <laughs> you don't know what they're saying. And then Donald Trump talks, and you're like, I've, I've said that before. <laughs> that's not a good sign. <laughs> you got to be optimistic, folks. If Donald Trump wins, <laughs> shut it, shut it, shut it. Shh. If Donald Trump wins this election, we're all gonna get to die at the same time. That's special. That's special. The dinosaurs and now us. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And yeah, some people are watching at home and you're like, ah, I don't like the Trump jokes. Grow up and get used to it. If he wins, this is the job creation he's talking about. And for all you people in here who are voting for Hillary, you know you're gonna get in the booth and you're gonna be ready to vote for her and then you're gonna stop and you're gonna say to yourself, but what would it be like? <laughs> what would happen? <laughs> ah! He said he just nuke whoever he wants to. There's only one way to find out if that's true. <laughs> I don't want him to nuke anybody, but it's like, how bright can these fireworks get? <laughs> oh, let me get a little deeper in here. <laughs> Uh, you guys clap at anything, and it makes me feel good and bad at the same time. Let me get up here. I really... Thank you. It's okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're safe. You saw this happening. You knew this was going to happen. 
I wish I could get what I want with this election. I say we just get another Kenyan for four more years. <laughs> That's where I thought the joke stopped and the manifesto started. <laughs> I know Barack Obama's a US citizen. All of us know it, but there's people who don't think he is, including someone who might be the president, so that's neat. <laughs> That's like an added election bonus kind of thing. I like imagining that he's not a US citizen. To be the first black president in this country with the history of this country and the current racial tension in this country, that's amazing. But on top of it, on top of it, you're gonna tell me he's not even a US citizen? What? What? It's yours. The job is yours, Obama, until you don't want it anymore. I hope to God, <laughs> I hope to God on his last day in office, he's just like, I gotta come clean about something, you guys. <laughs> I'm not even a US citizen. Even the people who hate Obama would be like, Barack, come on! <laughs> what, you goof? How did you do that? We looked into it. You are literally the only president we ever looked into it for. <laughs> And if you don't think that's impressive, you do that. You go to another country and you get as far as president. <laughs> you won't even get as far as mayor because you don't even know what a mayor does. You thought you did when you were a kid. You're like, a mayor runs the town. I saw it in a Richard Scarry book. <laughs> you have no idea. You have no idea. What a, when Marion Barry got caught smoking crack in the 90s, people were like, but oh my God, he's the mayor. Then Rob Ford in Toronto, he gets caught smoking crack. Maybe we as people need to step back and ask ourselves, do mayors smoke crack? <laughs> do they all smoke crack? Like, they might all smoke crack and these two, they just happen to get caught. You know how not everybody in this room has a DUI, but we've all been eligible for one? <laughs> It's no coincidence that tonight, we are in the Apollo Theater. The election is less than a week away, and Apollo Creed was wearing an American flag when a Russian killed him. <laughs> Do the right thing on Tuesday. Thank you so much. Good night, Apollo!